first try to, to I don't know, break the ice because I'm not, I'm going to improvise a lot. I uh, managed to make uh, slides even though my computer broke already, <laughs> and I uh, I was able to start on them late last night. Uh, but uh, so I'm Susanna. Oh, yes, I've worked with Wikimedia, uh, Wikimedia projects in Finland, uh, trying to um, promote the use of these open platforms for, for different uses. And uh, here I make the claim that this open participation could uh, be seen as citizen science. And the project, project plan or project idea that has been heard in this context is the uh, idea for, uh, oh well, it says wiki documentaries here, but it's uh, by the, another name, microhistory wiki, this is the yeah, I don't know, know. Yeah. probably We've isn't got, an yeah. official translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's in Finnish and so on. So um, we have a poster for the Wikidata project that we have done, well, I, I'll talk more about it downstairs in the, in the poster session. That's why I'll say a few words about Wikidata. And the second is the Microhistory Wiki, which uh, has another, <laughs> I don't know, brand name, Wiki Documentaries. And I'll be talking a little bit, bit about that. And then uh, in Finnish, we have, uh, in, with, within Wikimedia Finland, we launched this uh, concept of Wikiloika to, to reflect the digiloika of the uh, current um, new uh, opetussuunnitelma. <laughs> I, I, I call it national curriculum. Okay, national curriculum for the for the lower grades, and uh, just uh, that's going to be a, just a brief um, mention, a brief note towards uh, I don't know citizen science in the lower grade. I don't know, perhaps. So here we go. I am first. Um, uh, the Wikimedia projects are several. Uh, everybody knows Wikipedia, but there are other projects. Uh, one of them is Wikimedia Commons for Images, which holds some uh, certain tens of millions of uh, media items uh, openly licensed. And another remarkable one is this Wikidata, which, uh, which is an open uh, data repository uh, of linked data, um, uh, and uh, it has gathered its data from across the Wikimedia projects and um, and cre created this database that can be accessed uh, for several several courses. Well, I have. Um, I'll come back to that. Okay. Um, excuse. This is the uh, improvising part. <laughs> so uh, what we have done. <laughs> I go back to this. Um, this uh, what we have done as a as a, an association for wiki for promoting Wikimedia projects in Finland. So uh, this is GLAM. Uh, the acronym stands for Galleries, Libraries, Archives and Museums. This is a kind of a collaboration model that um, where these um, uh, open data actors work together with, uh, um, with uh, these memory organizations in order to bring data uh, and, uh, and content uh, that has been released under open licenses into these projects. So this is a collaboration model, and we have worked uh, with that. And this, this has produced a lot of, well, uh, the organizations are, of course, proactive themselves. It's not only us who have uh, made things possible, like that this painting is now also available in Wikimedia Commons uh, under open licenses in high, high resolution. Um, we, within the Wikidata projects, project, I think the, 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 the greatest um, achievement is that uh, YLE uses uh, um, wiki data for tagging their content. And here is here's more about Wikidata. Um, Wikidata is, is an, a repository of, uh, of uh, facts about the world, um, which are in the form of linked data. And I'll go through some uh, of the, the, the properties of the data. Yeah, so it's a free and open knowledge base that can be read and edit, edited both by both humans and machines. First of all, it's free in the sense of uh, free and open data. So the data is uh, published under Creative Commons uh, public domain dedication, uh, which uh, allows you to copy, modify, distribute, and 
perform the data without asking permission, even for commercial purposes. And um, I'm going to make this note later on also, but I think I, I should mention here that um, from this point, I think that the JHS uh, recommendations should, uh, should uh, specifically make note that unless uh, data is released under CZ0, it cannot be uh, brought into Wikidata. I, I don't think, well, Wikidata is probably not the, 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 the primary concern of the scientific world, but, but still I think it's a very useful platform for data sharing, so it should be taken into consideration from that point. So, it's also collaborative. Um, anyone can edit Wikidata. Um, the project ma is maintained by the Wikidata editor community who decide the rules of content creation and management. Of course, well, uh, when we think about uh, releasing data sets, this is uh, probably uh, uh, counteractive uh, <laughs> um, um, property for managing uh, research data, but if we think about this as a uh, publication platform, this is very useful for the, for the, for the long-term um, usefulness of the released data. So it's multilingual. Wikidata exists in more than 300 languages for editing, consuming, browsing and reusing. Uh, all the data is, um, the data can be input in any one language, uh, but it can be, then it starts to grow and live and it can be translated <coughs> into all of the languages and it can be um, the, the, the interfaces are in all of these languages as well as the data can be translated to the languages. And secondary, it makes references to, to databases and uh, data sources outside, so it's that uh, the data doesn't, doesn't, uh, isn't born inside Wikidata. It's structured, uh, it actually uh, it extends the RDF ex expression with sources and qualifiers, so it's, it's more elaborate than just plain RDF. And uh, it is uh, designed to support Wikipedia's uh, centralizing data for, for, for different languages. Um, uh, language links in Wikipedia articles on the left hand side, left -hand side if um, anyone has, has ever used Wikidata, uh, Wikipedia. And info boxes which are the, the kind of um, uh, short um, oh, info boxes. Um, and it has an item uh, for nearly uh, every Wikipedia article topic. It's open, the machine, it's uh, machine readable and the data can be used and improved by anyone. And there are tools and uh, APIs uh, that use standard formats to, to access and import uh, uh, data in there. And the use cases that I already mentioned, um, ULE has started using Wikidata for tagging and the Finnish National uh, Gallery has released their paintings uh, metadata uh, already there. Uh, they, they first uh, released it and then it was imported there. And uh, yeah, you'll find more information. It's now four years old. It's run by Wikimedia uh, Germany and, uh, and, and uh, well, uh, Wikimedia Foundation has started, started taking um, greater responsibility for them, for the project. So actually, I, I just tested the Wikidata and uh, Wikimedia projects against the FAIR principles Findable, accessible, interoperable, and re reusable. And it's easy to tick, up, tick them all. So, um, about um, the, the idea for wiki documentaries. So, when we think about this, is the, the, the citizen science part, maybe. Yeah. Um, when we think about Wikimedia projects, uh, the, the communities uh, impose certain restrictions on the, on the projects and the content. So uh, there's a specifically a notability criteria, and I, through uh, thinking about this uh, this this domain, I think it it is also a, a way of uh, imposing some sort of privacy uh, protection. So so the notability criteria is such that uh, you will only be able to to put uh, to write about topics that the community considers important enough or notable enough. And it's, uh, it's also called wiki, wiki notability so that it has no relevance in the real world so, or reference. And uh, for, the, for, the, for this reason and for, um, for uh, uh, let's say, citizen history, uh, from the citizen history point of view, for genealogists, local historians and, uh, and uh, I don't know, um, uh, 
thematic uh, clubs and such who are interested in researching some, some specific domain, it may be difficult to use these open platforms uh, for research. And uh, actually, I have not really now, now addressed the question of uh, like, why should I consider the whole of the, um, why should I, why should it be considered, um, well, at least it can be considered citizen scientific approach to be um, participating in these kinds of open uh, research areas. But we'll, well, that's my, anyway, that, that is my claim, but uh, I think the, the material of this uh, comment will speak for that. I, I, I'm not going to go into, into like very detailed um, uh, arguments about that. Right, so, um, so the, the idea has been to create a, another, uh, an, a new wiki that could um, be combining materials from open repositories. Um, for example, in Finland, we could imagine Finna uh, and Paikkatieto uh, Ikkuna, such material that has been uh, released already uh, and made available through open APIs and uh, th that have been structured uh, properly. And also from these open platforms that exist already in the Wikimedia world or OpenStreetMap and such, and, and the new pro possible ones. And this then enrich this with materials um, that the, the citizen science, it is citizen historians want to produce. And, uh, and then also be, act as a gateway or a gateway to, to input um, material into these open uh, repositories or but also in the case of sensitive data, or data that needs any kind of protection, then, then there needs to be additional, um, additional, I don't know, inventions made to, to, to prepare the data that is not yet uh, okay for publishing. Because this environment could not handle uh, sensitive data. It would have to this would be both, uh, this would be open in both, uh, regarding both um, licensing and uh, data protection. So uh, they, it needs to communicate with other ways of uh, preparing data for publication or public use. So uh, what we have uh, thought of, um, we've been working with the different parts of this, uh, uh, this um, View. This is um, this is a new interface for uh, a map warping tool. The idea would be that when you bring historical maps uh, to this open environment, there you would have tools to put them in coordinates. And then, um, when you have done this, then you can further use that. You can work with the place names, or or you can. Uh, use them as background in, in articles or such. So it would be a, a tools uh, hub for citizen historian as well. And this is another other tool that exists in real life, but uh, sort of uh, with, a, with, an, uh, with a new user interface idea that you know, would fit the, the previous one. This um, is based on the uh, Estonian uh, project Ayabike which is for geotagging historical images, placing them in geographic, uh, in the geographic places, giving the, them the dates and the, the, the field of view. This is uh, just a concept sketch for, for, for finding out the time of a specific photograph. This is a, this is a, a, peop, a picture where we know who the people are. So somehow the, these are my relatives. I know when they were born, when they died, so I know how old they might have been at specific times. And then when we start combining things, uh, we, could, uh, we could make, uh, we could deduce the, the time or even the month when it was, was photographed. This would require personal information, or this is already quite old, so this might be possible to do in an open, open <laughs> environment. So here, when we first uh, realized that it must be some, some time around 1915, so now we can see that it's probably only uh, like summertime, you know, I, oh, maybe, maybe in, the, in, the, in the spring because, because uh, the leaves don't seem to be yet in, in the trees. So, so we are sort of forking it to be, 
sometime uh, in the spring of 1950. So this is an, uh, um, another test I made with the Zooniverse tools uh, with the same materials. Um, this is uh, an interesting uh, citizen uh, historian or citizen scientist tool set that has been prepared by, by the Zooniverse. They, uh, they have created um, reusable tools for, for making these kinds of, uh, um, I don't know, I, I would call them micro tasks. <laughs> also these uh, citizen scientist acts that are quite repetitive and restricted uh, as opposed to open participation. And this is also to, to maybe collect, this is a set of questions that also, also uh, uh, give some sort of uh, metadata that like, classify the images based on several criteria. And this is again, uh, things could be made uh, on, on mobiles. These are again, these kinds of micro tasks. These have been thought for the, for the, for the, no, it will say the mapping purposes. So if I have an old map, I could place it in its place with, by being in that place. Or that uh, I could verify this is not necessarily a, a mobile um, task. This, this one on the left, I have an old map and I have data that has the, the vectors, or <laughs> the shapes of that place. And then I would say that, that I could verify whether I see this specific shape on the map and then I get more data about the map. And then uh, this is um, the, the, the other end of the, well, this is no more perhaps citizen science. This is again, like when we have used all these um, mix and match ways of collecting and producing data, then we can start playing with it. So um, this is perhaps <laughs> not too scientific. Well, I, I don't think we, we should worry too much about what is citizen science and it's not it. We should yeah. like, focus on the, on the knowledge. This is yeah. creating something new or, or at least linking existing knowledge or, or whatever. Mm. And it's yeah. But this is, a, this is again for ideas that in this uh, environment of tools, the, all the, not, not all the tools are analysis tools, tools for analysis. This, they are the tools for, for presentation or visualization. So I have a link here, let's just say whether it takes me there or not. Yeah, it does. So this is about the, this is a so-called story map. And I, I, can, I can use this, this data, perhaps this, is, this has been handcrafted, but I could use this like pretty automatically as well uh, to, to create, uh, let's say, multimedia experiences from, from that data. Yeah. So let's see if I can go back. So I wonder if, oops, oh yes. Uh, so these were just um, ideas about things to do in an open platform. Uh, and uh, I personally, maybe I, I, I give this, this <laughs> my opinion here. I think that the, these, um, these different uh, motivations, different uh, mindsets for the research topics are sort of just as valid, uh, but the environment can be shared. Um, and I think if, um, if uh, the considerations that are used to, for, for research environments are, are thought of in creating this kind of environments, then that data uh, could also, or the, the platforms could also be used for some serious research. <laughs> uh, so, so when we now we jump into the like the junior scientists, <laughs> uh, here is uh, the concept wikiloika, which is a bit, again yeah uh, reflects in the word wiki uh, uh, the the uh, the, uh, the new uh, demands for school teachers to to teach the teach the, um, the lower grade uh, students, uh, pupils. Um, this is, um, so uh, here, let's say just the, 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 the key issue first. I think everyone should participate, the parents, the teachers, this, the pupils, in doing this uh, all together um, to, it's not, I don't think it's, it's so much, I wouldn't be worried it, that the children wouldn't learn to use the digital media, they, they do. Perhaps that we, we, 
we want to transfer the, the motivations for using all like the, the attitude towards openness also into to the youngest generation and I think it may also be a problem that the older generation does not know to, how to play around with these things to generate um, new knowledge and understanding so we should do things together. This is a BBC project micro bit where they have produced this chip, uh, this board, uh, a million copies of it and sent them to, to school kids in, uh, in the UK. Uh, it has, uh, there are people doing this already in Finland. Norwegian broadcasting company is planning to, to do the same. And this uh, micro bit website is full of um, uh, experiments that the uh, school kids have done with this. This one is uh, this Richworth uh, school, which uh, sent their uh, chip to the to the I don't know which uh, sphere, but uh, up in the air with a helium balloon, and they were photographing and uh, and uh, doing all kinds of uh, recordings with it. And they were they then it landed with a parachute, and they they were able to 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 gather gather all the data that they had collected. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you.